Let's now go to Pia Bonalo. She's at an art gallery in Makati. Hi, Pia. Good morning. Emeline, this summer there are a lot of things that people want to do all around the metro and perhaps visiting an art gallery should make that list. Here in Rico Renzo, there's, uh, they have exhibitions presented every month to make sure that all of you have something new to see. With me is Reese Ferrer to tell us all about it. Hi, good morning, Reese. Hi, good morning, can, <laughs> can you tell me about the collection that we have right now here in Rico Renzo? Uh, right now we have uh, Popoy Kusi's work. And we, he's actually the one that's uh, our most uh, loyal artist, to, so to speak, because he's a very close friend of the family, too. And he's one of the few artists who've gotten some award in Europe, in Italy. So we're very proud to have his work here. Aside from Kusi, can you tell me about the other artworks that ha you have around the gallery as well? Okay, we have Norli, Maimban, and there's Sid Reyes. There's also Sim. And uh, several, my dad also has an exhibit here, and some Baltimore. So it's actually a varied collection of artworks. So it's, uh, we have abstract works, hyperrealism, and we have Nordi Meimban's very beautiful figures. How often do you change the paintings here in your exhibit? Oh, we have a monthly exhibit. Mm. We've even had even... Melanie Marquez exhibiting along with Isabel Lopez. So you had all these beauty queens. When they started painting, they decided, hey, let's have an art show. And we featured them. And we've also had other artists that did superheroes, so, which is actually coming another show coming in October. Can you tell me about that, about the artists doing superheroes? That's quite oh, curious. Yeah, that's called superheroes and villains. The artists get to paint their favorite DC or Marvel comic superheroes. And it was such a success that it's going on its third year. It's actually a traveling exhibit by Rico Renzo. So watch out for it in October. In October. So we get to see like all these artists we know, uh, all these comic book superheroes yeah. that they would just paint and, and these would be up for sale. Yes, yes. They would be up for sale and... Uh, the funny thing about the collection is uh, the collectors that come, the geekness come out, so they start talking comics. So that's, it brings out the child in the collectors also, the ones that buy it. And it's also nice that you're here because we're actually celebrating our 10th year anniversary this year. So we have some shows lined up. You can check our website, www.picorenzo.com for the lineup of shows and then September is the culmination because it's the birth month <laughs> of Rico Renzo. Oh, that's really interesting. Can you tell me more about Kusi, like these artworks that we have right here? Um, he's known to be uh, an abstract painter, am I right? Yes, he's from uh, yes, he's from Sarangani. So he, this is basically the mountaintop. That was near his hometown. So, and he's also from the sea. So, if you will notice, his paintings have very wild, vivid colors, which depicts the ocean plus all the clouds in the the use of the clouds whenever he's there gazing at them. And then next to it is another kusi. Yes, I think that's his rendition of still the the forest. I think still the same area because it was all about his hometown. This was his exhibit in 2004. 2003, sorry. <laughs> because um, for people who aren't really um, into art and would be going to a gallery for a first time, how could someone like, well, me, for example, appreciate an abstract painting like that? Well, it actually, there's really no rule book as to how to appreciate art. I mean, sure, there are people that say you should have this, you should know this. Mm -hmm. But eventually, it falls on the person because it's all about emotions when it comes to art, how the audience perceives the artwork. One artwork can be perceived differently by 10 different people, mm -hmm. especially abstract art. So, like this artwork, some people would have something else. So it's a very personal experience, I think. So you can't really put it in a box and say, this is this, this is how you should see the art. So very different, very emotional. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing this morning with us. Thank you, Pia. I'm sure a lot of you would want to experience that kind of 
um, connection with different kinds of paintings here at Rocco Renzo Gallery. So do check it out while the uh, exhibit is still up. Amelyn Jing. Thanks, Pia.